Now, your 41 NBC AccuWeather forecast, presented by Volume Chevrolet. Welcome back. After a pretty busy weather day, we've had a nice evening across much of the area. Some light rain in some of our southern counties was lingering, but now we're watching one last round of storms that's pushing in from the metro Atlanta area. It's kind of along that I-20 corridor right now, and if you're trying to watch the Braves game earlier, this line is what was delaying that game. So we'll see if it holds together this evening. Our atmosphere is pretty worked over, so I'm not super worried about severe weather for this evening across our area. But take a look at some of these rainfall totals. Some places over the past 24 hours have picked up around 4 inches of rainfall in Lawrence County, seeing around 1.3 near Eastman. Over in Gray, 3.1 inches of rainfall just in the past 24 hours. So that's a lot to pick up. It's definitely going to help with the drought. We are still expecting even more rain as we're heading through the rest of the weekend. So just kind of get ready for that. This is looking out right now over our 41 sky view from Lawrence County overlooking downtown Dublin this evening where everything pretty calm, still pretty warm, 77 degrees, humidity at 89%. And we're going to continue to see the potential for some patchy fog into tomorrow morning. 96 degrees though, where we topped out earlier today here in Macon. So it was another one of those hot muggy days. We're going to get one more of those before we finally get a little bit of a cool down as we're heading into the end of the weekend and into the start of next week. But right now, most of us generally sitting in those mid or lower 70s across the area that's really going to continue as we're heading into the overnight hours not a huge change in our temperature expected a little bit warmer up in atlanta they're sitting at 81 80 in montgomery and seeing 82 in birmingham but still in the 90s places like memphis sitting at 91 degrees now we already talked about the line that's going to push in from the Atlanta area, mainly to our northern counties, but it could hold together a little bit further than that. You take the larger look, though, and we're watching that line of storms pushing through parts of Missouri and parts of Oklahoma. Now, that is part of a bigger system that's going to head our way as we're moving into tomorrow. So that's going to send us another round of showers and storms possible as early as the late morning hours, but really during the afternoon, I think, is when we're going to see the best chance for showers and storms. As we're heading into Sunday, how about we just see another round of those as that cold front gets a little bit closer. Expect to see the off and on showers throughout the weekend. So just grab your umbrella as you're heading out the door. We will see another chance for some strong storms a lot like today with the downburst and the lightning and the heavy rain. That's going to be possible through the day for tomorrow. So a closer look at what we're expecting on our storm cast. Those temperatures starting in the mid 70s. We see things really firing up afternoon and into tomorrow evening. So just have a plan B. Uh, don't completely cancel your plans for tomorrow. Sunday, however, we will continue to see the chance for showers and thunderstorms across the area. Now, the good news is it's not going to feel like those triple digits forever just tomorrow, as long as we see that humidity and that heat continuing. But more rain will be on the way as we are heading into next week as well. In just 10 seconds, I'll look at our seven-day forecast. At Volume Chevrolet, get oil changes for life, plus a 20-year, 200,000-mile warranty. Visit Volume Chevrolet, I-75 exit 187 in Forsyth. That's volumechevrolet.com. And here's your 41 NBC AccuWeather 7-day forecast from Volume Chevrolet in Forsyth. Temperatures will be in the 90s for tomorrow, feeling like triple digits with that chance for showers and thunderstorms continuing. But we will see that rain all the way through the weekend and into next week as well. We'll get a little bit of a cool down with highs mainly in the upper 80s to start next week.